Top 5 Best Low Latency Audio Interfaces Number 5. Imadio Air 1928. Imadio is a company with lots of experience in making MIDI interfaces. Their Imadio Air 1928 is a highly versatile, capable, and surprisingly affordable low-latency audio interface. It's our top choice under $200, especially if you need something with numerous connections. Things we like. Like every other audio interface, M-Audio Air 1928 comes with a software bundle and plugins that you can use for free. Most of the emulator plugins and software tools are, as always, sold separately. The interface also comes with some cables. The unit looks sleek and stylish. It has a very solid black housing, shaped the same as the housing of the previously reviewed UA Apollo Solo. The front panel houses two Hi-Z guitar inputs, a phantom power switch, and a headphone output. On the rear panel, there are two combo inputs for connecting your mic or other devices with line-level connectors. Furthermore, you have a pair of one-fourth in monitor outputs, for RCA outputs, three. 5mm mini in-out ports, and a USB-C port. All the controls and indicators are on the top. The Air 1928 has a very intuitive control scheme. On the left, there are two gain dials for two input channels, paired with LED gain or clipping indicators. Right below the button, there's a mic pad switch for each channel. In the middle, there's a large monitor volume dial and a mono or stereo direct monitoring selector. On the right, there's a mixer dial for direct monitoring, headphone volume dial, headphone output selector, and a series of LED indicators. M-Audio Air 1928 delivers quite an impressive and reliable performance. It can handle high bit depths, sample rates up to 24-bit 192 kHz. Things we don't like. Customers using PCs running on Windows 10 had all kinds of issues with this audio interface. Windows 7 or Mac OS users had no issues. The included cables are quite short so if the distance between your computer and audio interface is longer than 1.5 feet, you should probably buy longer cables. Coming in number 4. Universal Audio Apollo Solo. UA Apollo Line is our top suggestion when it comes to high-end low-latency audio interfaces. Apollo Solo is maybe one of the cheapest and least versatile universal audio interfaces but it's still much more capable than other interfaces with the same number of inputs or outputs. It looks very professional, it has a great user interface, and it features a Thunderbolt connection. Since it's powered through the same port, it's great for portable use. Things we like. UA Apollo Solo comes with all the standard paperwork and with an impressive software bundle that includes a bunch of emulation plugins. The most important parts of the bundle are the console software and the Luna recording system. The unit has a very user-friendly interface. The inputs or outputs are on the front and rear panels. On the back, there are two Combo XLR 6.35mm inputs. Next to these inputs, there's a pair of line outputs and a Thunderbolt 3 port. On the front, there's a single hi z guitar input and a headphone output. All the controls and indicators are on the top. It takes some time to get used to the control scheme, but it gets easier after a day or two. On the right end, you have a large dial with a circular volume gain indicator and two buttons below the dial. These two buttons allow you to control the gain of the selected input or to control the headphone or monitor volume. On the left end of the top panel, there's a nice looking display with VU meters and indicators. Below the display, you have a series of six buttons input select, high pass, 48 volt, pad, reverse polarity button, and link button. Thanks to the UAD processing, Apollo Solo can process the audio in real time and deliver audio with zero latency. Thunderbolt 3 connection significantly improves the data transfer speed and additionally lowers the latency. Apollo Solo is very capable in terms of AD, DA conversion and can handle 24-bit 192 kHz audio files. Overall, the UA Apollo line is one of the best professional-grade lines of audio interfaces you can find. Apollo interfaces are easy to use, very versatile, capable, and provide perfectly reliable performance. Things we don't like. The unit is not compatible with iPads. Apollo Solo doesn't come with a Thunderbolt 3 cable, which is quite disappointing, especially for such an expensive device. 
Coming in number 3. Native Instruments Complete Audio 1. Native Instruments is another great brand with a bit higher reputation than the previous two. NI audio interfaces are not extremely expensive but are slightly pricier than the previous two. Today, we are reviewing the cheapest and least versatile interface from the NI's complete line called Complete Audio 1. This unit is great for smaller home recording setups that include just one mic guitar and laptop. Things we like. Just like the previous two interfaces, Complete Audio 1 comes with a USB cable and a software bundle for recording. NI software bundle is a bit bigger and of higher quality than those that come with Focusrite Scarlett and PreSonus. The interface looks simple yet very attractive. It has an all-black aluminum chassis. Most of the controls and inputs are on the front. There's one XLR input and one 6.35mm line level input. Each input has a dedicated gain dial. The front panel also houses one line, INSD switch selector, 48 volt phantom power button, input, host mixer dial for direct monitoring, one high power headphone output, and a headphone volume dial. On the top, NI Complete Audio 1 has a large volume knob for controlling the monitor volume, two input gain meters, and two indicators. The rear panel is the simplest. You have one USB Type-B port and two RCA output ports for connecting monitors. Complete Audio 1 enables zero latency monitoring through the input, hose mixer dial. The max supported bit depth, sample rate is 24-bit 192 kHz. Things we don't like. Setting up the unit is not exactly hassle-free. NI requires you to use the native access app to install the drivers and to register your unit before downloading anything. Coming in number 2. PreSonus Studio 24C. PreSonus is one of our top recommendations when it comes to budget options. PreSonus interfaces are more versatile than the same priced interfaces made by other manufacturers, they deliver quite reliable performance, good sound quality, and are capable of low latency monitoring. Today, we are taking a closer look at PreSonus Studio 24C. Things we like. Like the previous Scarlett 2i2, PreSonus Studio 24C comes with a USB cable and with its own bundle of software tools for recording. The unit is solidly built. It has a strong aluminum housing with the PreSonus logo on the top. Most of the connections and all the controls are on the front panel. On the left end, you have two combo inputs. These inputs will work with mics, instruments, and line-level input devices. In the middle, there's a nice-looking and easy-to-read LCD display with four VU meters. On the right end, you have a 48-volt phantom power button and five dials. Two dials are used for the input gain control, two are used for the monitor volume and headphone volume control, while the dial below the 48-volt button is a mixer dial that enables direct monitoring. On the rear panel, you have MIDI and out ports for connecting MIDI keyboards, 2 one in line outputs, 1 one in headphone output, and a USB-C port. PreSonus Studio 24C is very easy to set up and use. It supports high bit depths and sampling rates and delivers very good audio quality. It doesn't have a separate power supply which makes it great for mobile use. Things we don't like. The interface doesn't have INST, mic selectors. Instead, the unit recognizes the type of connection that's being used and provides appropriate gain. The unit doesn't have a separate power supply, which is great when using the computer or laptop. However, you can hardly use it with iPads and smartphones because they are not powerful enough to drive the interface. Coming in number 1. Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. Focusrite Scarlett line of audio interfaces is one of the most popular on the market, partially because of a huge marketing campaign and partially because Focusrite audio interfaces truly deliver great performance at a more than affordable price. Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 is fairly versatile, it has an intuitive user interface and allows direct monitoring, which is very important if you're looking for a low latency audio interface. This line of interfaces is our top suggestion when it comes to performance, price ratio. Things we like. Like all the Focusrite Scarlett units, 2i2 comes with a USB-A to USB-C cable and a bundle of software tools and plugins. The interface has a very stylish and recognizable design with a strong aluminum chassis and red finish. The front panel houses two combo inputs. 
They can accept both, mics with XLR connectors and instruments with one-fourth in connectors. Each input has a dedicated gain dial with a circular gain indicator. Also, each input has two buttons, INST and AIR. You can activate the INST feature when a guitar is connected. The AIR feature simulates Focusrite's mic preamps to give them a more open and brighter sound. On the right end of the front panel, you have the phantom power button in case you want to connect a condenser mic, the direct monitor button, one 6.35mm headphone output, and two volume dials. The rear panel is not as crowded as the front one. It houses only a USB-C port and two line outputs. Setting up the unit is done in just a few minutes. Since it comes with all the necessary software tools, you can start recording the moment you set it up. The max supported bit depth is 24-bit and the max sampling rate is 192 kHz. 2i2 doesn't require a separate power supply, it gets all the necessary power through the USB-C connection from your computer, which makes it perfect for on-the-go use. Things we don't like Like all the third-gen Scarlett low-latency audio interfaces, 2i2 features a USB-C port that actually uses USB 2. Zero protocol this lowers the cost of production but also reduces the connection speed, which has a negative effect on the latency. Luckily, thanks to the direct monitoring feature, you can still monitor your recordings without any latency.